What did I just witness? This was the best movie I've ever seen in 2018. Black Panther is too, but still, this one is good. Because so many reasons. Okay. Okay. First, we're going to be talking about... <clears throat> I'm. I was trying to recover for three days. It's... Like, the impact that it got to me was just astounding. Anyway, um, let me explain of what I just witnessed. First, we're going to start from the beginning, or probably. Now, let's see. First off, the movie was good. It's good. It had all my favorite characters from the Marvel Universe in this one movie. Everybody just loves this movie. I was so excited. The action scenes were awesome. The action, the the action, the the everything about this movie is just amazing to me. It's just, I don't know what to say about this. Now, um, they showed where, the, they finally showed where the Soul Stone was. And there were some surprising characters in this, well, actually there were two characters. And the deaths, I think I counted, there were like three deaths in this movie, which I'll explain. So let's get them out of the way. The first death was Loki. The second death was Gamora. And the third death was Vision. Yeah. I was surprised. And I knew. I knew Thanos was going to rip off. Rip off the. Rip, rip the stone out of Vision's head. Like. Zah, like. Like that. And of course it had. And I can't believe that was the last stone he needed to get. And, like, Logi was about to kill Thanos. There's no way you can kill him. There's no way you can kill Thanos that easily. He just killed him on the spot. He killed all the Asgardians, including Heimdall. Oh, but Heimdall did one last thing and sent Hulk back to Earth. You sent Hulk back to Earth to warn to warn everybody on Earth of the upcoming of what's gonna what's coming. It's just that is that was so cool. <sighs> Um, what else? <laughs> Especially like Tony Stark's new suit. 
it has a lot of things. This is absolutely kind of my, like my favorite Iron Man suit out of all the Iron Man, Iron Man armors that he wore through the years. Out of all the Iron Man suits that he wore, that um, that Tony Stark wore in the in the MCU, this is absolutely one of my favorite ones. And um, yeah. This is absolutely one of my favorite ones. Like, he made... <laughs> and then the way he fought Thanos was good. It, Doctor Strange, like, fought Thanos, too. Like, the way he just, like, showed off, showed off his magic was amazing. And that he made portals out of, ev out, like, to help the heroes. My favorite part when Spider-Man, my when Spider-Man went through the portals and kept hitting Thanos. Um, speaking of Spider-Man, um, like, um, he had he had a this suit, the Iron Spider suit, which is everyone knows about this Iron Spider suit. And like, and I didn't know if the arms were gonna be part of this suit. But they were. He acted like a real spider. Now in the comics, uh, the Iron Spider suit had three golden arm attachments. Uh, but in the movie, it's but well in the comics it was later upgraded and it had four arm appendages, appendages or tentacles. And what was the other one? The other one was like. In the movie, there was four. So, also, I like the relationship between Wanda and Vision. Like, I see this going somewhere. And a friend of mine, I know from Instagram, like said said this because she's a fan, she's a fan of choices, like, um. Like, um, this person's a fan of choices, so, and that, well, said that we, that if, if, if Scarlet Witch can love a robot, can we love Hayden too? So like, yeah, I still like Hayden, even though she's a robot. Anyway, back to the movie. Um... I feel like they could have added more characters, like the Defenders, like Defenders like Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil. Well, Daredevil's out of commission right now, but, but still, um, uh, it's just like, I think they could just, like, yeah, I I just hope in the next Avengers movie they do the most biggest crossover ever, bringing every everyone from the Netflix TV show, from Agents of Shield, and the MCU, all of them together in one film, which w which should be I think would be the last movie they would ever do. So yeah. Now um. The fight in Wakanda was good too. You have like Winter Soldier and Rocket, Rocket together shooting, and the coming of Thor's new hammer. Thor's new hammer, Stormbreaker, which was wielded by um, Beta Ray Bill, and it was also an appearance in the Ultimate Universe. I think. Because the Ultimate Universe is ham Hammer. I think that's the name Storebreaker, too. Um, like, it's kind of like that. Also, what else do I want to talk about? Um, the Soul Stone, right. Um, turns out, we finally find out where the Soul Stone is. It's on another planet. It was on another planet. I cannot believe. You see, all those theories of me, of me, of those theories online are just a waste. Because some of them may be true or not. They may be true, they may not be true. 
<coughs> um, what else is there to talk about? Like the Soul Stone. The Soul Stone, and it's on a. It was on a planet where a mysterious voice, and I was like, "Is that Mistress Death?" Well, no, it can't be. It's not Mistress Death. It just sounds like a guy's voice. But then the reveal came. Turns out this guy in the cloak was actually Red Skull. Red Skull alive. I thought he would. I thought he was dead. I really thought he was dead. <laughs> Everyone who watched Captain America, the first Captain America movie, not the, not the one that sucked. I'm talking about the one in the MCU. The first Captain America movie in the MCU. Yeah, I really, th I he was thought he was like. He was so. I knew my theory was right. I had a theory that Red Skull may not have been transported. I mean, may have not been killed. The people that were got hit by those blue blasts weren't killed, but they were teleported. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking of. Like they weren't killed or disintegrated. They got they got teleported because that's what the space. Sorry, but that's because that's what the space stone does. It teleports. It may it. It'll, It'll teleport you anywhere in the world, I think. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and the only way to get the soul stone was to sacrifice a soul that you care about. And I just... And I jumped to the conclusion it was Gamora. It's Gamora, okay? It's Gamora. It's gonna be Gamora. Cause he, cause Thanos just stood there and started crying. Like, what is, what do you have to cry for? You killed off a lot of people, and and you want to cry? Yeah, he just threw his daughter off a cliff. Well, adopted daughter. Adopted daughter off a cliff, and Thanos just—we figured out how, how and why Thanos took Gamora from her home. He just—he just saw her running around, took her to some pedestal, and showed and showed her a knife, and, he, and, she, and she tried to balance it like he did. He just distracted her while, while his um soldiers. Just like killed off everyone on on her planet. Just that was that was sick. He was he's a psycho man. And the worst father of the year goes to Thanos. Like, you throw your own daughter off just to get just to get the soul stone. There's another. There could have been another way. Speaking of and speaking of surprises, Peter Peter Dinklage was playing. Um, I can't remember him. He was apparently the people that build Thor's hammer were elves. Thanos Thanos killed them all except him, except the guy who was, except the guy who who Peter Dinklage was playing. Yeah. He was the one that built Thor's hammer out of a, out of a, out of a dying star, which, which killed all the dinosaurs. And um, and we find out where the how did Thanos get the Infinity Gauntlet? How did he get the Infinity Gauntlet? The elves build it for him. I thought he kept it in. I thought he built it himself or something. But nope, he said he told the elves that he was that he wanted something that can contain the stones. Oh my goodness, this is so, this movie just had an impact on me. It just an impact on me, like and um, like basically. If you think that, like, 
I'm looking through something. But basically, like, um... Oh my goodness, just... This movie had an impact on me. Like, how Thanos got all the stones. And I knew he was gonna go to Xandar first. Because the, no, how do you get the power stone first? And I knew he was like Thanos got the power stone first, then the space stone, then he got the reality stone, and then he got the um, and then that was another one. There was, what was number four, um, the soul stone, right? Right, the soul stone. And then he got the Time Stone, and then he got the Mind Stone. With all six, with all six intact, he f he did what he wanted to do. Erase half half of the universe. And I thought that wasn't gonna happen. And I thought they were gonna stop him. But nope. They didn't win this one. They didn't win this one they didn't win this one I, th I thought they were going to <sighs> but the thing I thought nothing happened or something but then then we saw our favorite characters like fade away or something or disintegrate it. He succeeds, and half of, and half, of, and half of all the life in the universe disintegrated. And the people that that were disintegrated were Bucky, Drax, Groot, Mantis, Wanda, Peter, Spider-Man, um, Peter Quill. Speaking of Quill. If Quill hadn't just punched Thanos in the face, could have kept his cool, could have kept his cool, then they would have gotten the gauntlet off of him by now. They would have gotten the gauntlet, the, the gauntlet off of him, and and things would have been would have been right. They would have, if Peter hadn't got well, if Quill hadn't just punched Thanos in the face for killing Gamora, which he, which I, which he well deserved it. Which Thanos deserved deserved to be punched in the face for killing his own daughter, well, his own his only adopted do adoptive daughter, and um, yeah, if he didn't if he didn't punch them in the face, he could he would have waited and just waited and until he got the gauntlet off and then punched him in the face, in the face for doing that. <sighs> Anyway, after Quill, then Doctor Strange. <laughs> then Black Panther. <laughs> and then Black Panther disintegrated, and then. Then Sam Wilson, aka the Falcon, dis disintegrated. And everyone else were just in shock to figure out they're the only ones left of the, the Avengers left. And in the end, Thanos just is on another planet. Just, just, he's satisfied in watching the sunset. How do you sit there on your throne? Are you satisfied with yourself? He's satisfied with himself. And I was like, that was it? It can't be it. It can't be it. Like, they killed off Spidey. In fact, they killed off Mantis too, even though she was in the first movie. She was in her first debut of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And you have to kill her off in the, in the second movie she's in. In the second movie she's in. That's the DCU did the same thing with Superman. 
how do you kill someone off? How do you kill someone off in their second movie? The first movie they did all right, and then in the second movie they just... I don't know. Uh, well, now, now in the post credit scene, I'm going to explain my theory in a minute. In the post credit scene, we finally see Nick Fury and Maria Hill, and everyone on Earth is disintegrating and disappearing, fading away. But Nick Fury has this item he has, and then he starts to disintegrate. And as soon as he... And then when he disintegrates, if the thing he had falls to the ground, and it signals a blue and yellow, a red and blue yellow signia in the background and it was Captain Marvel <laughs> oh man I can't wait for this so I'm guessing Captain Marvel is gonna find a way to save everyone on earth and defeat Thanos that's what I'm thinking of also we're gonna find out how F Nick Fury lost his eye probably in the Captain Marvel movie but I've seen set photos of it. I see a younger Nick Fury. Anyway, um, you know, here's my theory. It's, this is just my first theory. Listen, for everyone who's thinking that the Avengers and everyone that was disintegrated, the, you all, you you all think they're dead? They're not actually dead. I just this is my theory. They're not actually dead. They didn't get killed off. They didn't. They weren't killed. The people that were disintegrated. Well, the people that were. Well, first, I think they're all in the Soul Stone. That's what I'm thinking. Like, since they all disintegrated, they must all be in the Soul Stone, or maybe just Gamora is in the Soul Stone. Maybe just Gamora's in the Soul Stone now. Now, and um, yeah, maybe like I don't know, but whatever the thing, whatever my theory is, I'm hope I'm right, and I'm thinking everybody's like the people that were that were like disintegrated are probably in another dimension or something. That's what I'm thinking of. Also, Tony Stark and Nebula are trapped on Titan, Thanos' old planet. So, my guess is they're probably going to find a way to get off, because the Guardian spaceship is probably still there. I'm hoping it wasn't destroyed. Um, Tony's fear... They said Tony's fear of him losing all of his friends to a threat, and that dream came, became a reality. It's so sad, man. Just watching all the heroes die. Now they're better. Now I'm hoping they find a way to bring them all back. I'm really hoping they find a way to bring them all back. They better because if not, then I'm gonna be very upset. Of like, if they're gonna stay permanently disintegrated or dead, for some of you that think they're dead. Then what are the Russo Bros planning now? And Kevin Fe Kevin Feige. Well, I'm hoping it's something good. And um, I think that's it. DCEU. I'm hoping you guys do a lot better too, because I'm a Marvel and DC fan. If you got now, I'm just hoping both both companies will do good, and they are doing good. Even though some people don't think of it, but they're really good. And for those of you saying that Marvel, that the um, Avengers Infinity War sucks, it doesn't suck. It's good. It's good. All right. It doesn't suck. <sighs> well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed my review of Avengers Infinity War. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. 
Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. And if you want to get notified of the videos I put up, just hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video.